we're drowning. And honestly, I'm scared. As a child from Newark, I've witnessed this all my life. Poverty, drugs, violence, incarceration. And it's only getting worse. I have to find some answers. What's wrong with black people? What is wrong with them? Black man? The white man. If they would get over that racial shit, most of the th things that go on today would not exist. Hey, the black community probably doesn't have as much opportunity we grow up in poor communities, we get less chances. They expect too many things given to them. We still have this victim mentality. They want their own culture. We have issues dealing with family structure. Lack of education. The culture of lower expectations. We're not organized. I think we've been given too much. They're lazy. We hide behind their race. Influx of drugs. Trapped in a cycle. Discrimination. I think it's a legacy of oppression. 25 years from now, I'll see us back. We are where American makes and Martin Luther King fought for. But we'll be back beyond that. As, you know, time goes on, the younger kids, they're just, you know, they're getting worse and worse and worse. If all they see is the neighborhood that they're in now, with no attachment to the people that we once were, they're gonna drift in that misdirection forever. So I decided to make a trek to the past to experience the life and the struggles of our ancestors. My nose hurt, my ears hurt, my fingers, my back. Wow. I discovered the plantation in North Carolina where my family was enslaved. The owner is a direct descendant of the family that once owned mine. His name is David Wilson. You don't understand. That's my name. Would you want to meet him? Not really. I don't think I would have anything to say to him. That's a very painful topic. Um, wow. Anger would be the most, the uh, emotion I would have to keep in check. I don't know how I'd feel to tell you too. I'd want to take a damn gun and blow a damn brain up. You shouldn't stay in anger too long because you get to talk to him. You know, this is not something that's in a textbook that you can hear about. You get to talk to this guy. What if I said, you owe me reparations? I would like to take a DNA test. Would that be something that you would be open to? Do you feel that you have personally benefited from your ancestors owning slaves? Uh, uh, silence is not golden. Had there not been that period in our history, you might not be here. Have you ever given any thought to that? There must have been a deep prayer that someone prayed, whether it was on the, the tobacco fields or whether it was in church. There was a deep prayer that someone prayed that a day like this would come. This is my journey, from the streets of Newark to the plantations of North Carolina to the shores of Africa, a trip that will span thousands of miles and countless emotions to find the answer to one question. What's wrong with black people? What's wrong with black people? Uh, what is wrong with black people? I don't think anything's wrong with black people. 